Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating this Hotpoint freestanding 14 place dishwasher sent to me from AO.com in exchange for my unbiased review and demonstration. This is a freestanding standard size dishwasher measuring 85 centimeters high, 60 centimeters wide and 60 centimeters deep. This Hotpoint dishwasher has 10 different programs ranging from an eco setting that uses the least amount of water and electricity up to an auto intensive setting for your heavily soiled pots and pans. The control panel of this dishwasher is fairly easy to understand. If you want to select a program simply press the mains on button and if you want the default economy setting all you have to do now is press the start pause button. But if you want to change the program, all you have to do is press P until the program you desire is selected and then press Start. You've got some other options you can use on many of the programs, including the Zone Wash 3D Action. This incorporates an extra powerful water jet, so if you've got very heavily soiled pots and pans, you can select the 3D Wash Action to ensure that they come out sparkling clean. Next we also have incorporated in the same button you have a child lock so you can select that to stop inquisitive fingers interfering with the program. The display in the middle of the control panel will show you the program you've selected and the approximate running time. This timer will count down as the dishwasher progresses until it finishes. It also has various indications, it will show you when you need to refill the salt and rinse aid, it will tell you when the child lock is on, it will also tell you if there's a problem with the filling of the machine, so if the water inlet is restricted for any reason, an indicator light will come on to warn you. This button selects turbo and tablet mode, so for example if you're in a hurry you can reduce the wash time on many of the programs. For example, this is set to the auto intensive program which will take nearly 3 hours, but if you press the turbo mode that reduces it to 2 hours 23 minutes. If you like to use 3-in-1 tablets in your dishwasher, you can select the tablet setting using the same turbo button but hold it for 3 seconds until the display will show the tablet icon. This optimises the performance of the dishwasher when using the combined tablets. If you want to delay the start of the program, you can use this button here and delay it from 30 minutes right up to 24 hours. Just keep your finger on the button until the desired time is reached. And finally, this is the start pause button. You can also use this button to drain the dishwasher of water. Just keep your finger held on it for up to three seconds. This hot point will take 14 place settings, so it's ideal for the larger family. This is the top basket. It's height adjustable, so you can raise it if you have higher items in the basket below. To raise it, all you have to do is just simply pull it up and to lower you simply press on these two tabs just like that. The upper basket is ideal for washing your mugs, cups, glassware and smaller items of crockery and it has some adjustable features which makes the space a little bit more adaptable. For example set up like this you could use it to wash your tea plates and saucers but if you have a larger item to wash, maybe some Tupperware, you can simply fold down the rack like this and then you've got a large flat area. The foldable flaps at either side of the top basket can be used in different ways according to how you're loading your dishwasher. For example, like this, you can put tall glassware or you can fold it down and you can use it for wine glasses and the stems can be supported here or you can even use it for small cups or if you've got, say, a long carving knife, you could lay it across the top here. The lower basket is best suited for your dinner plates, pots and pans and cutlery. This particular model has two separate cutlery baskets, which is ideal because if you haven't a lot of cutlery to wash, you can take one out, leaving more room for other things. You've also got a grid on the top which helps separate the cutlery so the water gets all round them to thoroughly clean them, but you can actually store the grid lower down if you've got larger items of kitchen utensils to clean. You can just put them in there. Just like the top basket you have a certain degree of flexibility with this dishwasher. So for example you could wash an awful lot of dinner and side plates 
with the basket set up like this. But if you've got pots and pans, you can just fold down the racks. And then you've got the whole area here to clean all your cookware. If you've got very tall stemmed glassware that won't fit in the top, you've got this part that comes up. This will support the tall stems of your glassware and they can be safely washed in this dishwasher. Even if you use combined tablets, it is advisable to put salt in the water softener of the dishwasher. The salt container is located under this screw cap. Simply unscrew it, use the funnel provided and fill the container with up to one kilogram of dishwasher salt. At the base of the dishwasher you'll find a series of filters designed to stop any food debris from getting into the pump and damaging it, but you will need to clean these from time to time for maximum efficiency. To remove this filter you simply twist it and pull it out of the machine. So this is your fine mesh filter, clean that under running water. Inside here is your coarse mesh filter that will trap any larger particles of food. You'll find that that's a haven for sweet corn and peas. You always seem to find those trapped in the coarse filter of any dishwasher. You've also got this fine metal filter that comes out. You can clean that under running water. If it's got a lot of dirt on it, you can use some hot soapy water. Give that a thorough clean and a rinse. And then you just place it back in the dishwasher pop the central filter in and twist it until it locks. And finally, before I put a load of dirty crockery in this dishwasher, I'll show you the detergent and rinse aid dispenser located in the door. This is for your detergent. You simply press this button here to open. So inside here, you can use tablets, powder detergent or liquid dishwasher detergent. Once you've got the tablet or detergent in there, you simply close it. This is for your rinse aid. You simply pour it into here up to the maximum fill line. I would recommend again using rinse aid even if you use the combined tablets. Because I got some free samples with this dishwasher, I'm using these fairy tablets, but of course you can use any dishwasher detergent, including the more eco and animal friendly brands. But I'll just pop that in there, close the container, and then I need to load the dishwasher. So here are all the items I'm going to load into the Hotpoint dishwasher to give it a thorough test. This is genuine crockery from my home and some of it has been festering for up to three days so it's got dried on food. For example in this bowl I think we've had some cereal. This pasta dish has had some curry. We've got uh, various mugs with the dregs still left in them. It's a pretty dirty load. I've got crockery. Here's another example that's had some pasta in it. So that's thoroughly dried on. And I've also got a large pasta steamer to clean. So let's get this loaded, set the dishwasher going and we'll look at the results at the end. As this is a new dishwasher for me, I'll have to learn the best way to load it. So uh, I think I'll start with my mugs, I'll fold those down, start with all my mugs at this side. And then I've got some smaller mugs, I think I'll go to the other side with the smaller ones. Again, as you can see, genuine dirt in there. Well, that's the top basket fully loaded. I now need to load the lower basket. The largest item I'll be washing today is this steamer. So we've got, uh, I don't know really what's been in that. I think there was some fish in that. It certainly smells like there was. So I'll put the main part of the steamer there and I might have to fold down these flaps so I can incorporate that. And there at the back, of the lower basket which is over the 3D wash zone so I'll select that to ensure they're nicely clean. Well I think I've got it about as full as I can. I have to leave out a couple of items but they'll have to go in the next load. Okay without any further ado let's select the program and I'll be back at the end of the program to see how clean these dishes are.
Because there's a lot of dried on food debris on the crockery inside this dishwasher, I'm going to select program 2, which is the auto intensive setting. The noise level of this dishwasher is rated at 42 decibels, which is probably quieter than my voice at the moment, so it's not overly noisy. It's not the quietest dishwasher you can buy. If you want something very quiet though, you tend to have to pay a lot more money. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how effective this hot point dishwasher has been at cleaning my dishes. Let's start with a lower rack. I think uh, the pasta bowls were the dirtiest. Well, pretty clean, I think you'll agree. That's one of them. Here's the other one. Both of these had dried on food. Very good. Let's have a look at the grater. A little bit of water dripping out of that, but uh, it does tend to catch on this. Spotless, not a hint of cheese there. Side plate. That's one of the cereal bowls that had dried on, I think it was Weetabix on it. Let's have a look at some of the cutlery now. Absolutely spotless. Very good results from this dishwasher. I'm really pleased with it. This is the very first load I've done. But that is fantastic. Let's uh, have a look at this. Now this always catches water in the handles. Every dishwasher I've owned, it's always left water dripping out of this. Absolutely spotless. Okay, I think that's enough in the bottom basket. Let's have a look in the top. The glassware. Little bit of water on there. I might need to adjust my rinse aid setting. That is a pretty clean glass. Stainless steel bowl, spotless. Let's have a look at these mugs. Now with all dishwashers I've found that water gathers in tops of mugs and it's no exception with this one. You can just dry the bottom with a tea towel. Utensil there, it's a bit worn but it's certainly clean. Another glass. So, all in all, this dishwasher is very impressive. It's not bone dry. As I said, some of the glassware was, had a little bit of water on it, but only a few droplets. So I might, as I said, I might need to adjust the rinse aid setting. You can adjust the rinse aid and the salt setting. The salt setting needs adjusting according to your water hardness. So it's set at the um, medium setting. But if you've got very hard or softer water, you may need to adjust that. All the details of how to do that and adjust the um, rinse aid are in the instruction book. So to show you one last mug. Again, it's dripping water from the bottom, but that's common with all the dishwashers I've had. But that is certainly a very spotlessly clean mug. Excellent. Well fantastic results from this hot point dishwasher. So to sum up I think this hot point dishwasher is a worthy buy. I really like it in this stainless steel finish but if you don't think it'll go with your kitchen this is also available in a white colour. If you want to see more details about this dishwasher I've put the specifications under this video but you can also click on the link and see it at AO.com's website. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.